On my boat. Uh, <laughs> All right. We're, we're, we're rolling up on Bass Pro because they got my boat and I want it back. Just kidding. <laughs> oh wait, look, there's my boat. That's what I'm coming to pick up right now. Let me uh, let me just hook up to it. Just back up to it, right? Real yeah. Quick. Be like, yeah, bye. I'm good to go. <laughs> You're like, wait, wait, that's not it. Like, Alright, I gotta go in. Oh yeah, I don't need a much bigger. I need a V8 to pull that. Your thing. your tires will be sitting there spinning. I need like a <laughs> trying to get I need like a, I need like a like a ten thousand pound towing capacity. I need you to go, get a big you get old out, look at me. You know what? This isn't my boat. Yeah, uh, you know what? This actually wasn't my boat. Keep straight. Straight. Stop. Basically, I went to go strap up my bimini top when I picked it up, like like kind of like put it in the cover. And these rivets right here weren't put into the boat, so these popped right out. You know, so it was kind of a good thing that I noticed that right away because they had to come out and they had to put in these little rivets. I mean, it took them like a second to do, but it, you know, it's just uh, it's something that probably should have been checked, you know, before I get it if I'm paying. And a lot of people, they were asking me why I didn't just install it myself. Well, that's because my boat's under warranty. And basically, if you install anything yourself, and let's say a little stress crack happens or you chip, then like it starts forming and more stress cracks or whatever, then I'm, my boat's not under warranty anymore and they won't fix it because it's technically my fault, you know? So that's the reason why I did bring it in to Bass Pro for them to do it. You know, I'm, I'm just not gonna mess with my warranty. I want my boat, if anything happens to my boat, I want it to be under warranty and I want to be able to get it fixed. Um, but yeah, this, this rivet, I mean, it wasn't put in. So, I mean, that's not good. Like if I would have went out, my bimini top would have flew off. It literally would have flew right off. So, I mean, that's kind of annoying knowing that like I had to pay them, you know, a whole bunch of money to put in, to install something that's real simple that me and my brother could have installed ourselves in 30 minutes and done it perfect. So we'll see, we're going to head out today and, um, if there are any problems with it, I guess we'll just bring it right back in. Boats, boats running good tube is in the boat bimini top is not shading us right now because it's up we're gonna run out to this little spot where you're allowed to tube and we'll probably go over to whiskey creek we won't really be fishing today um just not not really in the mood we're gonna relax for a little bit because the canelo alvarez fight is tonight canelo versus triple g2 and we really want to see that fight that's about it for right now now there's not, not a lot going on we're just trying to relax it's like the first day back on the boat in like a month because we've just been doing other things all right, we just got out here, and it's, it's hot out here. So my instinct is to unzip this bimini and get, and get us some shade. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll do it. All right, that's good, that's good. It's supposed to be tight. Is that one tight too? Yeah, that one's real tight. That one's tighter. This one's tighter? Oh, but look, you can fix it too, Justin. Adjust it. How's it, it looks, feel? It looks even to me. Looks even to me too. Oh, that feels yeah, good. Bit, this feels real good. Come sit wow, in the shade. Nice. Come sit, hey, come sit in the shade. That's a good height for us. Yeah, what is it, like six foot exactly probably? No, it's like six to three. No, I would say like six two maybe. Yeah. Look, they were in the shade on the boat. Look at this. She was sweating, now she's not. I was like... All right. Like this tag on here, though. How do we hide change. this tag? We got a tag, uh, probably just the way it is. I love it. It's really, really nice. All right. Uh, we're going to listen to some music. We can't listen to that on camera because we'll get copyrighted. And uh, then we're going to cruise out to the spot to go tubing. This is the uh, the air pump that we got. We got it with like a 12 volt cigarette lighter because um, my boat has a 12 volt. So we're going to see if this works. I think it's the biggest one right here. And we're going to try to pump up the tube and see how that works. Let's see if it works. Wait, well, let's, let's check this bad boy. Oh, it does work. Oh, yeah. I think it's 
powerful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about. Jeez. How much PSI is that thing? That's not that powerful. Yeah. All right, it's, like, it's like a vacuum cleaner. I know. You want right? to go to the front? Let's give this a. Uh, you got your water and everything? Let's give it a shot. Let's go. I think you're good. You're good. Yeah. That's nice. Now we have the tube inflated. We have the tow rope right here connected to the tube. And then we have the split rope right here connected to both the anchor points in the back. This floats. Keep it up over there, I guess. This is only about 10 feet. And then this goes on to here. And this is how... When I looked it up, you guys tell me if I'm doing it wrong. But this is how I was I was told to do it. Okay, I was told to flip it like this, twist it to make like two loops. Put it in. Tighten it down. Is that correct? That looks right, correct. It looks good. correct to me, right? Good. Maria, is that correct? correct? Yeah, she's good. Okay. Maria said it's correct. I approve. Hey. Jesse's uh, heard off the side, I guess. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We don't want to pop it. We don't want to pop it. It's our first time out. Make yeah. sure the rope's clear. Maria, guide the rope. Got it. Throw it off the side, Jesse. <gasps> okay. Hold on, let me is this your first time tubing? Okay, be careful. Okay. Man, this is a long rope. Cut Nick over here struggling with a rope. Jesse was just on for a little bit and he flew off. I got him to fly off and it was pretty cool trying to catch the boat wakes. And uh, now it's Maria's turn. But do it lightly, please. I'm Actually, I can enjoy. I 20, I guess 20, 25. I was skeptical of how fast like you can go in tubing, but I guess 20, 25 miles an hour is pretty fast on the tube. You're gonna need them when you're out there. Hop on. Okay. Just jump in, baby. Jump in. <laughs> <laughs> We actually have to move because somebody told us that you're not allowed to tube here. Um, we had no idea. There's no no tubing signs. It's a really big open area. And we've, I've seen people tubing here before. You know, I've seen a lot of people tubing here. So, so yeah, we didn't know. So now we're going to go cruise down to Whiskey Creek. We might troll for a little bit. Relax before the, the big Canelo Triple G fight, which we want to see. Then we'll head back in. How did you feel about tubing? You were popping up everywhere. It was fun. I was like bouncing up and down. I thought I was going to have scoliosis out there. Uh, Okay, she thought she was gonna. <laughs> she thought she was gonna you can't control your head with your neck. She's got a big head. She's like a baby. She just bobs around. 
too much. <laughs> I wasn't even going that fast today. It's a 17 foot montage right there. The mini top is working amazingly. I'm so far it's like seriously the best investment. I mean I didn't like the way it was installed. I've complained a little bit about it being installed, but it's it's literally the best to be able to walk under some shade. It makes these extremely hot days turn into like very, very nice days. Whiskey Creek again. Boat's looking amazing. Running good. Coming up a little bit more. It's high tide right now at Whiskey Creek, so all the boats are just way up. We don't got a lot of sand. And low tide, I mean, it'll come out, it'll come out to here. I mean, it's completely walkable. So you always got to be careful for low tide. Hey, pull the rope if you want to come closer. Come this way. Pull the rope. Oh God, look at this See right the? Here. Yeah, yeah, right there. Just to bring the camera over there. Go a little bit lower. Pull the rope. Not too hard around the engine, but you can go away from there. She just floated into the trees. She just sat there. I know. Floating into the tree. Yeah. Careful of the prop. Get it out of my prop. Where is she going to fit in right now? Come on, babe, we gotta get you an anchor. Gotta get you a little an anchor because you just float all over the place. Where did the crab go? Right there, I see him. Where is he? Right there. See him? That's his body. Right there? Yeah. Oh, and there he goes. Under the boat. Uh -huh, uh -huh. My brother is just so slow. <laughs> Shot out at him. Don't, don't give this man a job of catching a crab. I mean, I could catch it if I caught it with my hands. He probably went under. Yeah.